our relationship with the Women's Leadership Committee for, with Farm Bureau dates back to 25 years and we're so fortunate for that relationship to exist. Uh, last year they contributed $100,000 to the house during COVID, which was an, an incredible gift. Uh, it cost us a little less than $100 a night to house families in, in the house and so you can make the calculation to see how valuable that was to us. And when you look at the history of the relationship with, uh, with Farm Bureau and the Women's Leadership Committee, what they've done to stock the pantry, the financial gifts that they've made from time to time, including the original $40,000 gift that they made when we uh, built the facility that you're looking at in the background, really an incredible relationship and we're so fortunate to have it. The partnership with Arkansas Farm Bureau's Leadership Committee is just amazing. Can you imagine 25 years of supporting families here with food and resources? It means so much uh, to the families here and of course to us as an organization. Taking care of families' needs. Uh, you know, when you come in from the hospital at night, you don't want to think about going to the grocery store, going to a restaurant, and to know that families have the food, meals, it's just such a gift. I, you know, we've gone through pictures and, and looked at the years of support from the, the committee, and um, it's so exciting when we look back at those pictures to see trailer of food come and how the dining room had to be rearranged so that there were enough tables to lay all the food out, stack it up. It was mounds of boxes of the essential things that families need. So, you know, I was on the board for nine years before becoming the organizational leader five years ago. And so I know from both perspectives how much the partnership means and the resources that you all have provided. When I was the chairman for the Women's Committee uh, back in the late 90s, we decided that we wanted to do something to partner with uh, Ronald McDonald House in conjunction with National Food Day. Uh, we wanted to bring awareness of agriculture while also doing something for the community. And so we uh, gathered up a lot of donations, uh, grocery stores donated to us, uh, people within the counties, just everyone pitched in. And we actually brought uh, a wagon load full of groceries to Ronald McDonald House. Now it wasn't this nice facility that we see now, this was at the original one. Um, but we just saw a need and so we jumped in and got the donations together and we came together with uh, Ronald McDonald House and moved forward and to see where it is today, oh my, it's amazing. So we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. We've been here three um, and a half months um, with our three and a half month son and we have uh, spent pretty much every day coming here eating breakfast and lunch and dinner and um, it, it's a quiet place when we can come and also the variety of the food, the variety of the people that come and serve the food have been incredible. The people that have worked behind the scenes, donating the money, donating the, the time to put in that, um, it's, we just want to give a huge thanks. And also that um, they're willing to spend their time and their energy to make this happen for us. It has been great bringing our committee here. Um, with the last year with COVID, we have not been able to. Uh, so our committee, as well as YFNR and the foundation, have made generous uh, monetary donations. But uh, we were just told that, that we're gonna be able to come back. And it just gives you such, uh, it's just amazing. It's really, um, it's really emotional when you get to meet all those families and, and cook for them. And I mean, it, it's just so simple. You're cooking a meal for them. It's not, it's, it's not anything different than what you do at home, but uh, it just reaches them on such a deep level and, and they feel taken care of and special and they don't have to worry that day about fixing themselves something. And so it's, it's great for the committee. It's, um, it's great for the families and it's just, I'm just so blessed that we have that opportunity. Mm -hmm.